This is the egg sitter. It's an ASEAN TV seat cushion in which you can supposedly place an egg on it, sit on the egg, and the egg won't break. Let's check it out in today's review of egg sitter. All right, here is the egg sitter. I have it sitting on a hard chair. As you can see, it's contoured, it slopes in the center, it's a little higher in the back. The material feels a little different in person than I thought it would based on the advertising. And compared to this Miracle Bamboo Cushion, which I've been using for over a year now, this is a harder foam. I've been using this for not quite a week yet, but I will say that it feels cool when you first sit on it. it takes it takes several minutes for it to kind of warm up. Being cool is great if you want to be cool. If you're freezing, being cool is not a good thing. One thing that's kind of unusual when you sit on this is you kind of you feel yourself sit on it and then it slowly compresses afterwards. Let me show you. It's like sit, sink. Sit, sink. I've also noticed a couple of times that this leg of mine has fallen asleep. I'm thinking because maybe if I'm sitting farther back and my leg is coming over this corner, for some reason that's making it fall asleep. I don't have that problem on the Miracle Bamboo Cushion because they kind of accommodate your legs right here. On this one, they don't really have the legs factored into the contour. In my case, when my leg goes over this edge, it does seem to fall asleep on occasion. Not a big deal, something worth pointing out. You can see size-wise, the egg sitter is a little smaller than the Miracle Bamboo Cushion. Here are the instructions for egg sitter. Really, it just shows you which way to place the egg sitter on the chair. And this is all about how to insert in the cover and your washing instructions. There really isn't much to it. What's this? What, ha what is this? So compared to the purple pillow out of the cover, you can see they are kind of similar in some ways. This has kind of a triangular pattern. This is more of a honeycomb pattern. Obviously much heavier. This is a lot lighter. In the commercial, this seemed a lot more solid to me. I mean, this is kind of collapsing pretty easily. It's a little bit different texture than I expected. Now there's two different egg tests on the egg sitter in the commercial. I'm gonna do both of them right now. One is where they put the egg on the egg sitter and they push down the glass bowl. And the other test is where they put the egg down and someone sits on it. I'm gonna do both and see how it holds up. All right, so in the commercial, they put the egg there, they push this down. I have a really bad feeling about this already. I mean, come on. I, I'm not gonna push too fast, I'm gonna go slowly. Oh no, oh, come on. Look at this. Look from above. Oh, come on now. Oh. That's just not good. It's not good. Now I have to go clean this off, and I have a really bad feeling about the egg sitting test. Now, this is named after the test that you can sit on an egg, and it already failed the pre-sitting test. <sighs> oh, nice. Look how great that looks. So nasty. So nasty. According to the directions, you're supposed to just clean this with warm soapy water, wash it by hand, let it air dry. All right, by the way, these are the Battle Vision glasses that I'm also reviewing at this time, so stay tuned for a Battle Vision review in an upcoming video. But now back to the egg test. The first one failed miserably, so I have a really bad feeling about the one where I'm gonna sit on the egg. There's no way it's, it's gonna completely, it's gonna get egg all over my pants. I don't think it broke. Oh, oh, what do you know, look at this. It didn't break the first time. Because I don't think I had all my weight on it, so I had some weight on it. I would say most of my weight was kind of like this. Let's try just putting a little bit more weight on it and see what happens. Whoa, hey! Wow, after a completely miserable failed first test, this one actually passed the test, surprisingly. I'm actually completely shocked right now. I could feel that if I had really tried to put more weight on it, it might break, but I didn't try to push too hard. But I did feel it kind of moved downward underneath me. I have a feeling if I kept trying, it would eventually break though. But surprisingly, the egg sitter came through on the egg sitting test. So I'm driving through downtown Las Vegas and I've got my egg sitter down here, as you can see. It's underneath me, I've got it in the sleeve here. 
I will say that it's a little bit firmer than I expected. Not too firm necessarily, but firmer than I thought it would be. I also wanted to point out that the instructions are very clear that the Exeter is not really supposed to be left in a hot car in the summertime. They say if the Exeter gets over 105, to not even move it or sit on it. I guess because it'll get deformed if you do that while it's cooling back down. So it's kind of a bummer that you have to take it out of your car or maybe hide it under the car seat when you're not using it in the summertime, but that's, they're very clear about that on the instructions. So I just had some uh, lunch here at Aces and Ales here in Las Vegas, which has great craft beer, by the way. And I was thinking about the egg sitter, and I wanted to point out that there's another product ca uh, called the Wonder Gel, which looks a lot like the egg sitter. It's about 60 bucks on Amazon. It's got really high reviews. I think it has about a four-star rating with maybe a thousand reviews, so it's pretty good. But I'm not sure if the egg sitter has been rebranded from the Wonder Gel or if it just happens to look a lot like it. But it's worth pointing out, if you don't want to get the egg sitter, that might be something for you to consider as well. So here's the egg sitter in my car. As I was saying, it's, it looks like it's about three inches thick. So it does lift me up a little bit more than I'm used to, which is fine. And as you see, the underside, there seems to be these little grips that hold it in place. It doesn't slide around too much. So here we go. This is going to be the egg test part two, a little bit more aggressive than the first time. Here we go. Okay, I'm sitting on it and I can tell it has not broken. Wow. That's crazy. Come on now. I'm going to pick up my feet and rock backwards. I'm going to try sitting down more aggressively. I have to I have to admit it's it's going through my test. I was really trying to break this and it's not breaking. I put all my weight on it, I sat down on it quickly, it still held up. Of course, the egg test is completely meaningless as far as how comfortable this is to you when you're sitting on it. It doesn't mean it's going to be comfortable for you to sit on. It just means it can, you can sit on it without an egg breaking. The question, though, is can you sit on this long term without feeling like your back is breaking? To me, this is a first look review. My first five-day overview of this is that it's a pretty good cushion. I have to just sit at the right angle so my leg doesn't fall asleep, but otherwise, it's held up pretty well. I'm gonna be back in a few months with an update video, which I'll link in the description below when it appears, and I'll do some more tests, let you know how it's held up, and maybe even do some hot weather demonstrations. But in my initial test, after about five days, I think it's pretty good. Am I convinced yet? I'm not. Is it worth the $40 I paid for it? I'm still on the fence about that too. All I know is that it seems to pass the egg test, and it seems to be a worthy cushion to sit on beyond that. I'm going to have to do some long-term tests and let you know how those go. There's a very crucial part of my scientific testing of these products, and that is the Bailey Sniff Test. I've got my old Miracle Bamboo cushion here, the egg sitter, and nano towels, which I'm also working on as well, a review for those. And I want to see what Bailey thinks about these when she comes up and sniffs them. Come on, Bailey. Come on, Bailey. What's that? What is that? Oh, she's looking. What is that? What do you see, Bailey? Oh, she likes the towel. She likes the egg sitter. Okay, well, she has a ball in her mouth, which means none of these alarmed her enough to alert me of the potential dangers. So that's, uh, I think they've passed the initial belly test. Good girl. I've been using the egg sitter for about five days now, and I'm not sure that I like it better than a foam cushion. I certainly think that there are people that will definitely like this. It's just different and it takes some getting used to. I'll definitely keep using it and let you know how it goes in a few months. I'll especially be interested in trying some hot car tests once it heats up here in Las Vegas. But until I do an update, this is going to be my cushion every day whether I like it or not. And then I'll definitely let you know how it goes long term. Short term, I think it's pretty good. But it's less expensive than the other ones out there, so it may not be a terrible price for it. I just seem like, it just seems to me like $40 for a, a big hunk of rubber doesn't really seem like a great deal, but maybe I'm just being picky about it. I don't know. Have you used the egg sitter or something like it? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And please subscribe for more As Seen On TV product reviews from me, James White, with Freakin' Reviews.